So I had a crack at making a solar powered shishi odoshi to go along with my new solar powered stream and pond. It seems to be working pretty good, so I thought I'd show you how I made it. G'day, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, you might like to subscribe and check out my website, ozponds.com. So first let's start with the components I used to make the shishi odoshi. I don't think I'm saying that right, so I'll just call it a Japanese deer scarer or a dudung dudung. So I got two pieces of long bamboo, about five foot long. It's hollow in the center, but it's solid at these join points. I also had a four foot piece of bamboo just the common stake that you use on your tomato plants and a piece of three quarter inch garden irrigation tube. Those were the main components for the dudung dudung bit. Um, I'll show you how I put that together in a minute. The other equipment and tools I used were some six mil vinyl tubing. This will connect the pump to the water delivery system a strong glue that can be used to glue pieces of wood together, a mitre box so I could make a nice clean 45 degree cut, a couple of saws. I wasn't sure which one was going to be best, um, but it was the hacksaw, and a cordless drill and some assorted drill bits. So I started by making a 45 degree cut on the piece that would be the seesaw or the dudung dudung make the noise bit. I made sure that I had a solid joint in the middle so I had a chamber that could fill with water and a chamber that would remain empty. I sort of tested it to see where I needed to drill the holes to create the tipping point. So then I drilled a couple of holes big enough to push the garden irrigation tubing through. Then we tested it Obviously the bamboo cross piece needs to go through the chamber that won't fill with water. It was all looking good on the test. Then I cut two pieces for the uprights that would hold the skinny bamboo cross piece in place and drilled a hole in each to accept the bamboo. Initially I had the bamboo uprights quite far apart, but Mrs Ozpons didn't like that, so of course I changed it. That just meant cutting the smaller cross pieces of bamboo shorter. Here's how it looks semi-assembled or semi-pulled apart, whatever way you look at it. Then I got to work on the water delivery system. Here I just cut out a section of bamboo and then made a couple of 45 degree cuts so that I could create a 90 degree elbow. I cut from one joint area to another joint area. Here's how that looked. I needed to drill a couple of holes in the solid join sections so that I could thread the final tubing through. Up at the top section, I squirted in some silicon just to hold the tube in place and stop water going back down into the chamber below. Then I glued the two sections together. And then it looks something like this. I let the silicon and the glue cure for a few days and then decided to give it a try. It was a fair bit of mucking around to get it to sit how I wanted it, but eventually I got there. I wanted it to be sitting inside the liner. So because it's winter here and I had no sun, I had to wait a few days before the sun finally decided to show up. But when it did, I was quite happy. I found I got a better noise by stuffing a rock into the base of the bamboo that wax on the other rock. Quite a lot of water tries to run down the outside bottom edge, so I tied some twine around that, and that just helps make it drip down into the area inside the liner. I also needed to add some rocks inside the delivery system to make the water dribble out Otherwise it would overshoot the dudong dudong. To 
To power it, I'm using a small 180 litre solar pump. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in something that small. I'll keep fiddling around with it a bit more and once I'm 100% happy, I'll hold the vinyl tubing that's currently visible. Anyway, so that's how I made it and where I'm at at the moment. If this was helpful or maybe even mildly entertaining, feel free to tickle the thumbs up button. Uh, next week I'll do a video talking about the planting and how I have the solar system configured for the new stream. But until then, thanks for watching. See ya.